Hey YouTube, what is happening? Blizzard Raptor here. We are picking up with some more Horizon Forbidden West. We are just about to get into this boss battle, so let's carry on. No long introductions from us today. My arrows just aren't reaching it. I want to take him back over here so that he goes through my traps. Ouch. Right, so we need to get rid of that tidal disc now. I uh, have tear blast arrows. Whoa, wasn't expecting that. Right, that's rough. Uh, his tidal attack really is doing a lot of harm to me. He's able to do so much damage. I want him to come to this side. Right, that'll do. That will have annoyed him. Whoa! Ouch. I was trying to roll with that. Got some weak points. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Wow, cha. <coughs> no me jump health potions. <coughs> I just got that off in time. Okay. Not the smoothest fight. Yeah, that wasn't the smoothest I've ever fought a boss. But hey, we fought it. So thanks for joining me once again. I know you guys would have been diving in to see me fight a boss. I think there are better ways of doing that boss. To be honest, I didn't handle him really well. I tried to roll through too many attacks. I think the better way of dealing with them is actually to use the stands and glide around the arena to create space. Everyone okay? You guys all right? More than all right. This, you, we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, um, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just... You know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. 
Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. No, I like him. probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Brilliant. Thanks. I like those guys. So we'll just do a little bit more healing. I think I should have... Should have what I need to craft. Kind of supplies. Some of them, and we'll craft... Ah, purge water must stop me from using the potion. So it wasn't that I didn't have any, it was so just that I couldn't use it. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I wonder if he'll look like a god with like the uh, the okay. trident and things. The trident should be hiding in some kind of processor. Over there. I need to find a console to gain access to it. Look at all of these. What would you call them? There. I should be able to use that console. <sighs> Look at what he's. Amazing. Oh, just absolutely brilliant. I'm going to bring you home, Poseidon. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. That's your own right activated. Restoring the sign subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring us back to Gaia. <laughs> Got a big smile on my face in case you're wondering. I'm just enjoying this game so much. Enjoying the atmosphere. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. These guys could turn this place into the home of the yeah, show. The crew must have headed back up top. With all the embers they could carry, I bet. <laughs> Refreshing, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Back we go.
I know where I am now. I've been able to orient myself. This is the first room that I swam into. An elevator. Merlin must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. <laughs> Here we go. Well done. Incredible. This is a, a great feat of engineering for even a team of three guys. Machine does the heavy lifting, there we go. Whatever she did, it must have powered up the whole city. Is that? <sighs> Oh. oh, the show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. <laughs> Amazing. That's incredible. This dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. C come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, Just like food and a nice place to stay. Las Vegas. <laughs> Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I am. Um... I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> Amazing. Is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. <laughs> I hope they make it work. That's that's just More fantastic. Who's gonna stay? Maybe I should come back and check on them later. Yes. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to head back to Silga. See if she needs help with that scrambled signal first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. So, for the duration of this video, we will just be tying up this part of the story. We need to get back to the base. So let's go and do that. I've got some off-camera stuff to do now in terms of going back to old diving sites because they're way, way back at the, the dawn. And the reference she made to Silga there was a side quest that I started. I wonder if Poseidon being turned back on will turn on some of the entertainment things for the guys now. That would be awesome. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. 
Fantastic. Wonder if there's an underwater. theme for the room. So additional rooms. Doesn't look like it's that one. We've got my room here. It's pretty weird talking to Beta, seeing someone who looks like me. Even though it seems like she doesn't act anything like me. Or Elizabeth for that matter. She was raised different. Take the opportunity to replenish my resources. Oh, looks like I can open that door now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast sea banks. From here, Control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. According to this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. That is actually really useful. I like that. That's cool. Every commander needs to be able to see an overview of the battlefield. That's where Erin and Co moved into earlier. Love it. <laughs> Can't get anything from there, can I? Can I? No. Doesn't matter. This is. Oh, I'm disturbing the privacy of Zoe and. in the war map room now. You literally just saw him. I know she was supposed to use that. So I can now craft the Ravager. Can't get that one or that one. Or the roller back. Got excited there when I saw a wide mob. I was like, oh yeah. Okay, no, but that's good though. Now that I've got the sky drifters, I think I can ride them now. So let's go see what my sister has to say. found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. 
My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. Like the Matrix. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. This is something that I've noticed playing the game, especially doing some side quests the other day, is that although the characters move around and express themselves like Beta just did there, she got up, she walked around, she talked really passionately, you could see her facial expression, they always reset to their original position. So while they can display more rather than just being static, polygons that stand there and interface with you they're not really the fact that they have to reset shows that there are still some limitations to technology yet but it's really exciting so this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view i could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below and there were gulls crying outside Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. 
Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. this last part maybe we can look at it together I think I might have found that during a side quest as well I can't remember <laughs> also I'm Forrester so I know it's it's again it's better a better tier of gear and it does offer better protection but it won't actually be better than my armor until I've upgraded it a couple of levels so that's something I'll need to do again off camera, um, or rather off recording. Off camera is just my way of referring to not doing this, not recording, not talking, not interacting with you guys, not telling you how I feel about the game, not you know commenting on what I'm seeing. So nothing else that's pretty new. I wish there was a. A button you could press just to change like just to what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> to cancel all your new finds although I know why they don't have that No, that's not the... I think those are the ones that you can fly. But I need to find the cauldron for them first. Might be worth talking to a few of the people who talk about rumours.
Here we go. Need to cross a vast expanse of wilderness, apparently. It does look like it's going to turn into more jungle terrain. The Memorial Grove. So we pass by the grove this time and we head out to unknown territory. We've got a cauldron there. That may be the Gemini cauldron. So again, that's something I can explore in my own time. Survey drone. Relic runes for more embers. So there's a lot I've got to do. Is that? It's a black box. These are the things that I can now do. <clears throat> and I'm looking to do. And I do need to upgrade my gear as well. You know what? <clears throat> let's have a look at my gear. Not the most exciting thing you guys have ever heard me say, but let's have a look and see what the Forester gear needs. Or not apparently. I need a workbench. Have a conversation about it. I'd like that. Hey, Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge. Things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It okay. takes some time, but yeah. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. <laughs> so, you've been sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. <laughs> I thought maybe I could try finding things with more you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. Uh, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. <laughs> I was thinking about that already. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. Erend, we know you can fight. Everybody here can fight. What you're doing is learning a skill that you need to learn, like... Is the workbench next door? Yeah, I see it. That'll let me know what I need to do to upgrade. Here we are. So... Bellow back sack weapon I've got, but I don't have shell walker lightning gun, so I need to find somewhere to farm shell walkers for their lightning guns. Shell walker circulator I can get while I'm doing that. A roller backs hammer tail. That's going to be a little bit more difficult to get. A tide ripper tail fin. I can get the roller back circulator when I'm getting the hammer tail. Tide Ripper, Tail Fin, and a Bellowback's Primary Nerve, so I should get all of them together.
Okay, I think I can get it up to at least level 4, which is going to make it the best armor. So that's what I'm going to be spending time doing now. Yeah, we're at 35 minutes, so that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Um, so thank you for staying with me for this one, guys. I really do appreciate all the support this series has been getting. I'm having great fun playing this. It's honestly really enjoyable. It's eye-opening. The things that they've been able to do with this game, Guerrilla Games, the, the sheer scope of it, what possibilities that this gives us, you know, opening up a base, being able to recruit allies and bring them into that base, personalising the base and making it our own. It's fantastic. Such a mixture of personalities, it gives us somewhere to interact with all the people that are important to us. I hope this lasts. I genuinely hope this does not get destroyed. I will be gutted if, by the end of this story, we've lost this. Because I think this sets up the series in such a great way. Um, but anyway, thank you for enjoying this. Um, if you could like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking about the series so far. Subscribe to my channel, let me know that what I'm doing is entertaining. Subscribing helps. It helps the channel grow, it helps it reach out to new people. It gets noticed. So that will in turn help me to be able to do more of what I enjoy doing. So please, subscribing is the important part. If you could, if you also want to join a live stream as well, I stream on Twitch TV on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. At the moment it's Elden Ring. Now I've got the PC working properly, I was testing a few stream settings today. I will be able to do my uh, horror game streams on a Friday, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. We'll get Layers of Fear finished, potentially move on to another game during the stream as well. If we don't have time this week, we'll move on to... Alien Isolation the following week. Streams are going to be two hours long-ish at the moment. I, although this is my job, <clears throat> this isn't my hobby. My plan is to grow this channel, build it, develop it into something where people can share their passion for the design work, the content, the writing, the characterization, everything to do with games. I will try and get some emulators onto my PC so I can play some retro games, especially games that were important to me growing up. I've played on a variety of plat platforms. If you read any of my bios on my social media or on my YouTube channel, you will see that I have been playing pretty much since about 1986-87. I've been gaming on a variety of systems. So I, I, this has been a hobby and it, that hobby has turned into a passion project and that passion project is now going to become my, my sort of, it is, it's, gonna, it's, it's my job. So you guys letting me know that I'm doing something right by liking and following along, that really does help me out and I appreciate that. So like I say, if you want to join me on Twitch for a live stream, please do. Uh, you can follow the channel when you find my channel on Twitch TV if you hit the heart icon that will follow uh, and that will let you know when I go live. If you could subscribe to my YouTube channel that would be fantastic. Be kind to each other and take care of each other guys. There's enough cruelty and crap in the world. We are not adding to it. The community that I'm building here as Blizzard Raptor is not a channel for doing anything other than spreading a bit of kindness and a bit of fun, a bit of happiness. So keep that in mind when you join and when you recommend me to people. Take care of each other and I will see you for the next part of Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you and goodbye for now.